Diana Demmerich here, right, 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 good morning, I hope you're fine and well. Check in with you, declutter inspiration. I'm going to be going through all of the Fly Lady Zones, the five Fly Lady Zones, and show you what I have decluttered recently. And uh, you'll need to excuse me if I'm a bit excited today, but I'm actually packing to go to Edinburgh in Scotland to see my mum. Um, the, my mum hasn't seen our kids for over over two years, so, so we're all kind of excited. But anyway, back to the decluttering. And a spoiler here, you're not going to be seeing tons of stuff in the boxes that I have. And why is that? Well, I, I know YouTube is full of uh, videos of a whole, you know, we're going to declutter the whole house and we need to clean the whole house. I, I am proof that if you are consistent with the Fly Lady system, you don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be that overwhelming thing ever again. So if you're consistent with your morning routine and your evening routine, you add in the weekly home blessing hour once a week and a bit of decluttering along the way, you're never going to have that overwhelmed feeling again. You know, that horrible feeling in the pit of your stomach, like, oh, everything is overwhelming. We're just taking it easy here. We're being consistent and we're, we're seeing results. So anyway, uh, get, get ready to get off your hookies um, and I'll, I'll show you things in each of the Fly Lady Zones and uh, a, a few insights. Starting at the beginning, Fly Lady Zone 1, which is the entry to the house, the hall and the dining room. And I'm, I'm happy with all of those rooms. We, we use our, our china, that we've got one set of china, our wedding china. And at New Year, you know, it was just hubby and me, but I, I, I like to set a nice table and we use our, our nice china. But I, I've realised that a couple of the candlesticks that I had for New Year, I don't really like them any longer and they don't fit standard size candles. So, so these, these candlesticks are going. And also I've been through the drawers. This is where we keep, you know, serving dishes, uh, wine accessories and anything for entertaining. This is for candles. And I, I should point out here, I don't normally uh, put things in boxes by Fly Lady Zone. When I see something that we're no longer using, I, I usually put it in a bag or a box for one of our swap parties. Uh, but this was just to show you today the, you know, the different zones. Uh, also, these horses which I had in here, these are now going because I, I, I no longer like to display them. But when you start going, you know, when, when you're constantly going through the Fly Lady Zones, it's really nice to be able to shop your house, bring out stuff that you haven't displayed for a long time. And, and I've now brought out this one. This is going to go here in, in the dining room. Uh, this is a bowl that I got from uh, my old boss at the Court of Justice, the EU Court of Justice in Luxembourg. It's Sir David, he, he gave me a lot of, uh, all, all the pictures that you see hanging in the hall, those were all birthday gifts and Christmas gifts and uh, wedding gifts uh, from him. So, so I like to display my stuff, but you, you don't always have to be shopping for new stuff, you know, just, just uh, use and enjoy what you have. Oh, and I always get questions about our wedding china. It is from Villa Royenbach uh, because my husband and I both worked in Luxembourg, that's where we met working at the court. And the, the china that we got was given to us by our, our, all our colleagues in Luxembourg. And the, uh, it's no longer being made by Villa Royenbach, but the, the name of it was uh, Madeleine. There we go. <laughs> and just a wee story. Uh, all our glasses, all our crystal uh, glasses, they came, these are, are Danish uh, from Holmgård, if I remember rightly. Uh, these were given us to the, from the Danish side of the family. And my side of the family in Scotland, they gave us our silverware. So, so there we go. We, we had a real kind of uh, connection when my hubby and I got married. Fly Lady Zone 2, uh, the kitchen. I really wasn't expecting to find anything here because when my kids moved out, they, they've each got uh, their own flat in Copenhagen. Um, we, we went through all of the drawers and any kind of extras that I had, they took them for their apartments. And we bought the apartments for the kids. The kids are not coming back. <laughs> well, no, that's not the plan anyway. Uh, the kids have their, their apartment for, for life. But there were a few items in the kitchen and maybe you want to think about, do you still have some food leftover, you know, some Christmas stuff that you had. Uh, we're, we're down to the last of the Christmas sweets. These are going in my bag 
in my skinny dip sea swimming bag because uh, my besties and I, we like to have uh, a hot cup of tea. We take our, our china teacups, here's my, my china teacup, there we are, in this little box. And we have our, our tea once we've had our skinny dip. And then we have, um, usually have a, a, you know, a little bite to eat. Uh, and, and we love these ones. So, so that is going into my swimming bag. And we had a few boxes left over, you know, of, of uh, Christmas biscuits, stuff like that. I've kept one box because they are quite useful if I'm transporting food to, for example, one of our, our clothes swap parties or when, when I meet with uh, the Blue Tits Chill Swimmers group that I'm in, you know, quite often I have food to transport. So I'm keeping one, but all the rest is going in the recycling. So, so think about that. How many, how many jam jars are you keeping? How many uh, tubs, plastic tubs? How many are you actually going to use? And from my tea towel drawer, you know, when, when I usually, you know, when, when we used to travel before the pandemic, when we go on vacation, I buy tea towels. It's, it's a really good clutter-free souvenir instead of bringing some kind of weird <laughs> ornament back. And these ones, they're now too stained and they've had a lot of use. And that, that's the thing. I'm not wanting to hold on to them forever. So these tea towels, which you've seen in lots of my YouTube videos and Instagram posts, these, these are now going to be turned into rags. I'm going to cut them up and use them as rags. Um, because you can see they've got uh, you know, tea stains and you know whatever. And these ones, where did those? Uh, these came from a visit to Vienna in Austria, and that must have been oh, that must have been 2019. So so they've done a lot of work, and now they're going to become rags. And I use those as cleaning cloths, and then out the door they go. And also, if you've been following me on uh, Instagram or YouTube or on, on my blog down Denmark. You will know that I have been going through pantry items, freezer items, all uh, the whole month of January. And I, I've just been looking at, you know, what we had stocked up on. We, we got some extra food for Christmas. So I have, in the month of January, I only bought, you know, the essentials like uh, milk and bread or, a, you know, I bake a lot of bread myself. And I've been clearing out what we had because we, we need to be careful of that kind of overstocking. I know, I know a lot of people like to you know, stock their pantries, but are you actually using it? You, you know, we, we don't want to ending up uh, sitting there for years. Use, you know, use what you have. Let's have a good clear out. It's a good way to save money as well. So actually, I don't have anything else there, but just something that I've noticed this month because both kids now are in their own apartments is that I'm, I'm going to redo my drawer where I have my pots and pans down here. I don't know if you can see that down here. Because I, I've noticed with, with it just being me and hubby, you know, we're empty nesters, that I'm no longer using the big pot so much. Oh, all right, here comes a squirrel. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can get photos of the squirrel. Um, I, I've been going down to the, the smaller saucepan, so I'm going to rearrange things so the ones that I'm using most, the small saucepans and frying pans, they come at the front of the drawer and the other ones at the back, and then I'll see if there's anything to declutter there. So we, we are downsizing. I'm not really getting rid of the bigger ones, because of course the kids are here from time to time. But for, you know, on a, on, a, on a daily basis, the, this is the size that I'm using now. Fly Lady's own three, which is uh, the bathroom plus one other room. It could be like here in the boiler room. This, this is where I keep my uh, memorabilia and my, my badge board and my, my old Buzzcocks poster. Uh, this is also where I do the ironing. M maybe you want to work on, um, I guess, bedroom, the, your office, garden shed. You know, there's always that area that we haven't kind of looked at for a while. Uh, down here, I, I did a declutter recently of stuff in the basement. And, and this is camping gear and stuff that I'm handing on to a friend. She's just moved into her new house. So I, I said to her I would hold on to it for now until she's kind of found her feet. In the bathroom, I didn't find anything, but you know, did you get anything for Christmas? Like nice uh, shower lotion or gel? You know, have you started using them? Have you actually got them out of the boxes? Did you put the boxes into the recycling? All, all those uh, little things, you know, but I, I've been using my, uh, my Christmas gifts and I love having a, a bubble bath. And if you're tackling an area which really hasn't seen a lot of love in a long time, maybe, you know, like a garage or a basement, set yourself up for success, uh, set a timer, work, work for 15 minutes at a time, remember to take breaks. 
and it's also really useful if I can get this out uh, to have a, a bag or box ready for uh, the, these are old fly lady ones so you absolutely do not need anything like this just, just a bag or a box that you've seen uh, you'll have one box for put away items so that when once you've done your, your 15 minutes or your half an hour you immediately go and put the stuff away in its home you'll have a bag or a box for da, 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 uh, throw away which I prefer to call recycling we, we recycle as much as possible as we can here in Denmark and the last one is giveaway though those are donation items maybe you can arrange for a charity to, to pick, come and pick up your stuff that's really good motivation uh, I, I put my giveaway items immediately into as I said a bag or box for our next swap party which hopefully will be happening very soon I have a few items from zone three now these are not for decluttering these are to get the money back on them in, in Denmark we have a deposit system on glass bottles plastic bottles and it's really great it stops them ending up uh, going in the rubbish and uh, as you can hear, see here here's a, a soda one and on the back it says pant and a little uh, code there and they all have different values uh, it's pant a b and c so depending on what the bottle is how much you pay for it and how much you get back uh, with your deposit so there's there's one there and here's here's another one this is a water bottle uh, not that we ever buy water but sometimes we get them given free for things uh, here's a beer one and that's pant a and it's just a great way that ensures that, as I said, it doesn't end up going in the trash. People people go around collecting these things and uh, get their money back at the, at the supermarket. And usually I keep them in baskets downstairs because we don't go through many bottles. But as you can see from time to time, I've got two full baskets. Uh, and that's just basically money sitting there. So that's what I'm going to declutter uh, from zone three. Fly Lady Zone 4, which is the master bedroom. And if, if you want me to clean with you or declutter with you 15 minutes at a time, I've got playlists for, for each of the zones. I'll put a link up there and a link down below. I, I use the Dressing Your Truth system for my capture wardrobe. So really, I, I've, I've got very little to declutter in this zone. But you might want to look through, you know, makeup, uh, accessories. Uh, I had a random yellow hanger. All, all my hangers that I use here are... Uh, the wooden white ones from Ikea or the plastic white ones from Ikea but when we're at our Swedish uh, weekend cabin I found some items that I'm, I'm really not going to use again and as I said before usually I wouldn't put them into a box like this they go straight into a bag that I have in the bottom of my wardrobe in my closet for the next swap party so as soon as I see something that I'm not using again for example like a nail varnish it goes straight in the bag. And think about where else in the house do you keep uh, clothes? And I, I feel really weird having uh, shoes here in the bedroom because I, in, in Denmark, we don't wear shoes inside the house. We only wear like house shoes or slippers or, or wooden socks. So all our, our shoes that we're not using currently are in the basement. But, but this is a pair of winter boots. Uh, I've cleaned them up. I'm not going to use them again. So again, those are going to the next uh, swap party. So who's going to get those? I, I do not know. Woohoo, on to the final stretch. Fly Lady Zone 5, which is the living room, the den, wherever you congregate as a family. And I, again, I don't have much in here because with me doing the weekly home blessing hour every week, which is like the high traffic areas of your house, not, not the whole house, the, the living room is on my radar the whole time. But a, a few things, uh, maybe you also had a tin of quality street at Christmas. I'm not going to keep the tin. I don't like the look of the tin. <laughs> look in here, we, we always have these toffees left over. My, but my daughter likes the toffees. Uh, so I'll, I'll keep the toffees. She can, she can have the toffees. But the tin is going out. Did you have a favourite? I, I, I like all the kind of strawberry ones and the orange creams, all those kind of things. A few books that I've picked up at the book exchanges that we have. And I'm not going to read these ones and I can easily get, you know, all, all good English books. I can get them from our local Danish library uh, and we're, we're hoping to go to Norway at some point. But 
and again I can I can borrow the book from the library when I need it. So those are going back to the book exchange and one that I got for, for Christmas uh, I, I really loved this one it was a fantastic book a really fast read very different uh, so I'm going to see if any of my friends wants to read that and I'm not planning on holding on to it and I went through uh, what we have in, in the living room. I, again, if you want to see what I have in all my drawers, I've, I've done plenty of decluttering videos, 15 minutes at a time. Uh, these candles, I'm not going to use them. I, I find the blue colour kind of, I don't know, just a bit bleh. Uh, I, I prefer my white candles. And I don't know how, how long I've been holding on to these, but they are finally going. And a couple of small candle holders that um, I had got a, a clothes swap or was it no Vibica passed them on to me and actually I, I've never used them so they, those are going to the clothes swap and I think <laughs> that 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 was that so let me just find my pom-poms so I hope I gave you a wee bit of inspiration to look around whenever you're in the zone you know see see what you're using see what you're not using if you're not using it please pass it on to somebody else and, and if you want tips on how to stay motivated while you're decluttering uh, i'm on instagram basically daily with with little reminders uh, my recent youtube videos have talked about you know um, adding some hygge into our day adding some hygge into our routines uh, but anyway i need to get back to packing because i'm off to see my mum uh, anyway, all I've got left to say is live long and prosper, may the decluttering hooker be with you, and I shall see you definitely on the other side. Okay, bye for now with a wrap, wrap, wrap.